All right, we're gonna go through the Click and Go Nobile Gen 2 foot straps and pad set, how to install them. They can be a little tricky if you don't do it the right way. The first thing you wanna make sure is that you have the longer of the two Click and Go screws. You can see the one on the right here is the one for the pads and straps. This is the one we use for the handle, which you don't wanna use. So first thing you're gonna do is take the washer, put it on this, the, the screw there, and then we're going to start with the inside. found this is a little bit easier. Make sure that the click part is on the inside of the board, closer to the handle. I like to pull this tab to open it all the way up. You can even take this out of there if you want. That allows you to get a little more stretch on that side and pull this side all the way out if need be. So what we're going to do then, put this through here. It could be a little tight to get it through there the first time, but you want to get it all the way through. I like to put it in the middle. Then we're going to come over on this side, pull this tab, get that through on there. Pull that all the way down if you can. You can push this straight all the way through just to make sure you have as much screw sticking out there as possible. Take a little rubber gasket, slide that on there. I'm going to make sure that I push as much screw through as I possibly can. Even might give it a couple twists just to make sure it's snugged up on there. Ease it as much as you can. I'm gonna take that. Again, I'm gonna put that in the middle. Make sure that's snugged up. Take that. Put it through my pad. Here, get this kind of straight on this side. You can push it all the way through so you can have as much screw as you possibly can sticking out. Keeping it snug with your fingertips there. Find the hole you want to put it in to get your stance set. Make sure this is straight up so you can get a straight twist on it. And just get it started a little bit. Two tugs, spins there, it's started. I'm gonna snug it down a little bit. I'm not tightening this all the way yet. Go over to our next one, which actually should have done this. I could have done this first, but put that through. Same thing, get that over. Put that all the way down. Get the rubber gasket, put the rubber gasket on, push it all the way through. Kind of use my fingers to twist it. Try to get the screw, as much screw sticking out as possible. As many threads as you can. Push it all the way down. Then we're gonna find, line that up. Now here you can pull this out pretty good. So that's why it's, I like to do the inside first, is so you can get this into place. Pretty much line it up pull that out so it's not really in the way and this is where the trickiest part and make sure I line it up again just get that down I like to put my fingers around there keep that straight kind of just get a little bit of a thread going this might take a couple tries if you don't line it up perfectly but it looks like I've got it threaded and now we can go through and Tighten the other side. You don't. The, the trick with these is you don't want to tighten them, twist them until they're super tight. You want to just get it kind of snug, and then kind of close it down. I mean, I might even go half out so I can tuck it in there. Same thing on this side. If I, if I can't twist anymore, if I crank it down, I'll break the screw. So you know, you can kind of come back one, and when you snug it down that way, it pretty much snugs it. That's too loose. Oop. So we'll do this one again. Guess it wasn't really threaded. Now it's threading. And lock it down there, there, wherever it feels better. But we should be good. And then you can go ahead and take this clicky part, pull it back out. Kind of got it tucked up in there. Put it back through there. And now we're clicking and going. Good to go. Do the same thing on the other side. Whew.